The last time, the last time I came to you, you were concert. I'd only recently moved in. I'd only recently moved in to, to, to the gar. To the gar, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was good word as well, but it's gar. First morning I was there, some bloke said to me, Good morning, Mr. Davis, welcome to gar. <laughs> I thought I'd moved again. Honest. Because we used to live, we, 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 used, we used to live in Cardiff, like, do we? In Cardiff. Only we live in Swansea you now, and the accent's different. It changes on about pile, but uh, everything changes a pile, isn't it? And I forgot to tell you the last time it was here about my little boy. My little boy, because when we moved, like my little boy, because when we moved, I brought him with me, no point living him in Cardiff. <laughs> no, he's, a, he's only a little one. He's only about that big, Ben. Isn't he? How old is he now? 32. 32, yeah. <laughs> and we, when you, we moved down, see, and the first morning, oh, isn't it? it kids are marvellous, you know. The first morning, we were, he said, Dad, dear. Because <laughs> his accent had changed overnight. Yeah. <laughs> he said, Dad, dear. <laughs> it was a mark, eh? <laughs> Oh, not to ask me. He said, I'm going exploring. He said, where are you going? He said, I'm going exploring a neighbourhood. So off he trolls, now little blokes, he off across the road. And across the road, now from our new house, those of you who know, they built some shops for us, see? Well, not just for us, I mean, it, you know, anybody can use a shops, you know. But it's the usual kind of shops, you've got a butcher's, baker's, candlestick maker's, <laughs> and a chemist. Right, yeah, Mr. and Mrs. Evans, the chemist. I do, Mr. Evans, do. He's certified, man. No, qualified, qualified, sorry. Qualified he is. Do, he's, a, he's, a, he's an MPS, he's a TCP, a DDT, and he's got them all, right? My little boy into the shop. Mrs. Evans is behind the counter. Thought she'd have a nice, quiet Saturday morning. No chance. In he went. Hello, Mrs. Evans. Hello, love. Well, Joe, Joe. What can I do for you then, Kariat? Do you want, Mrs. Evans? I want the pocket to those things the women wear. Hmm? Do you want? She said, you want? She said, want to park it with those things the women want to say, thank you. She said, who do you want them for, love? You met that, Zex? Zex? Is that no, Mr. Evans? Sure, are they for you, a sister then, are they, love? He said, no, Mr. Evans. So, well, they must be for you, a auntie then, are they, love? He said, no, Mr. Evans. She said, well, who are they for, love? He said, they're for me, Mrs. Evans. She said, for you, she said, yes. She said, what the, what do you want? <laughs> what do you want them for, love? He said, well, Mrs. Evan, it says on the pocket, if I wear one of these, I can swim and ride a bike, and I can't do either yet. <laughs> That's the one you'll forget in the morning. I'm talking about morning, ladies and gentlemen. Keep your eyes on tomorrow's press. There'll be some very interesting news in the papers tomorrow morning. <laughs> Believe me, there's going to be some very interesting news in the papers tomorrow morning. And I hope you will look out for it. It concerns each and every one of us. Of course, different papers, different newspapers are read by different types of people. You know that, don't you? Oh, yes. Did you know, for example, you know, forget that one now, love. Come, keep coming with me, all right? 
I'll explain it to you later. Did you know, talking of newspapers, did you know that the Daily Mail, the Daily Mail is read by the people who think they run the country? And the Daily Mirror is read by the wives of the people who think they run the country. The Times is read by the people who do run the country. The Financial Times is read by the people who own the country. The Guardian is read by the people who would like to run the country. The Morning Star is read by the people who think that this country ought to be run by another country. And the sun, well, they don't care who runs the country as long as you got big t What? The summer smiles The summer knows Shame. She sheds her clothes The summer smooths The restless sky And lovingly She warms the sand On which you lie The summer knows the summer's wise She sees the doubt Within your eyes And so she takes Her summertime Tells the moon to wait And the sun to linger There's little more for her to tell One last caress It's time to dress for fall For fall. 